Hey guys, I know what you're thinking. What am I doing? What is this deck here? Well, this is premium Thagrea, like it says in the title, so uh, I'm gonna get into it. Um, the starter is First Aid Celestial Peniel, Quick Shield, and just the Generation Zone, because who runs that with a Persona Ride deck? Uh, so, while this is going on, I'll go ahead and look at the Generation Zone units, because I'm weird like that. Okay, so we'll go over the Generation units and then go to the main deck from there. Um, there's five Generation Guardians, so one Black Seraph Elolith, one Super Mobile Hospital Affirmative Glands, one Holy Seraph Surreal, and two Holy Seraph Parashells. So, just your basic Generation Guardian lineup. Um, I call it basic, but that's what I use. So, next up, we're going to go into the Generation Zone. Okay, so of course, since I run the Overtrigger, there is no Ultima, which makes me sad. But anyway, you can sub that with Progenitor Dragon of Total Purity Agnos. Uh, the, literally, this is what is great for Alt Mile Brave. Back when that was a build, um, the only reason I feel like you'd do this is like, hey, uh, I don't have any cards in hand, I need to replenish it. Because literally on plays Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, I call as many cards as I can for man, and then I draw three cards. So this card is great if you literally have a no cards in hand, or you can just stride into this if you have a, and no other generation unit to stride into. And then, while this is face up in the generation zone, you don't have to pay the cost of stride. Great thing about Progenitor Dragon, so... There's the Progenitor Dragon for the United Sanctuary Nation. We have Black Serve Velator Terminal, the Generation Break A for Angel Feather. Four Holy Serve Zaf Kills, because, like, of course, this is the best Angel Feather unit to fight off Locke. We have two Evangel Serve Raphael Mitras, two Fanatic Serve Garavriel Edens, and one Holy Serve Basasail. This one is Superior Call Units from Damage Zone. This one is to heal, because, oh my goodness, Angel Feather. Come on, we have to heal. So that is the lineup for that. Now we are going to go into the deck. Uh, and <laughs> why Premium Thagray? So I'm an Angel Feather player, and I want to build every Angel Feather deck I can in all three formats, Standard, V, Premium, and Premium. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and break down this deck. Uh, of course, hey, look, it's not the World... Uh, world yeah, world. I was about to say World Order, World Original. Uh, so, yep. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, why are you running the Grade 2 and Grade 1? The Greyas, why are you doing that? Uh, listen, the Greya, come on, we're not going to lie to each other. <laughs> she got the booba, like, that's pretty much it. When I thought, saw the Greya, I was like, I need to. I need to build her in Standard and Premium. Like, oh my gosh, I love the Greya. I just, oh, of course. As you can tell, I have preferences. <laughs> I like my milk with my cereal. Uh, feel free to out me on that. I don't blame you. <laughs> I am a disgusting otaku neat. Uh, anyway, so we're going to start off with the trigger lineup like I've done in the previous video. Uh, so this is Premium Thagreya, January 2023. All right. So one, two, and three, critinal, and then here. So we're going to start off with the crits. Um, so I run one Black Spark Monkar, three of the Thundershock Angels, and four of the Augment Angels. So, Stride Fodder, give my Vanguard power, and then just a funny little Sentinel, which is like, hey, this guard's more so than others, so I have a total of eight crits in deck. Next, I wish my stand, there's only one, Dr. Refros. One Over Trigger, which is Light Dragon Deity of Honors, a Martinoa. Four Heal Guardians, which is Transcendent Divider Cassio. One Drotinal, which is Balcupid Nocial. And one Front Trigger, which is Bard of Heavenly Song Alpac. So, yeah. yeah. I'm so glad Standard was a thing, because now uh, Protect Clans and Force Clans can use uh, uh, Front Triggers. Because Front Triggers uh, for V Premium, I remember when it came out, was exclusive to Excel Clans. I was like, ah, oh, come on. I want, I want my Front and my V Premium Protect Clan and V Premium Force Clan. Ah, oh, don't do that to me. Glad they did, glad they did. All right, now we're going to go into the grade ones. Let's see how what I put in here. <laughs> Clearly, well, and I just played it a little while ago, so it's really funny that I say that. So we do that, we do this. Okay, that's funny. Oh, interesting. I, I had this lineup. Okay, <laughs> see, look at that. I just build Angel Feather decks to forget about them because I really like Angel Feather. So we have one Light Elemental Hanali to fight off against the Excel meta. Uh, we have two Aegis Mirror Dragons, two Kind Card Sartil for uh, refilling the deck. Uh, Hanali basically limits how many times the Rearguard can attack the Vanguard on 5th attack or more. Four Beneath the Brilliant Light Thagreya, and four Black Call Nakir. This is the Grade 3 Searcher. Uh, unlike Gizeh, uh, 
of course, this is the best card to have. And then the reason why I run this is because I like the Greya, and why not? <laughs> like, literally, why not? So that is the Grade 1 lineup. I'm gonna end it there. And then next up is the Grade 2 lineup. I run 12 Grade 2s, I believe, so. Uh, yeah, so we got Maple, we have Harsh Training Thagreya, we have Hygienist Angel, then we have the Jaff Keel. Alright, so let's go over these, shall we? So, of course, every Thagreya deck requires Atrocious Moth Girl Maple. Uh, this is great because when a Grade 3 Vanguard is placed, Spirit Call It from Drop. This is a Keter Sanctuary Stoikea unit. It's a dual nation. It's so funny. It is hilarious to have this in deck. Um, next up, we have two Hygienist Angel. It is a cheap card. It is very underrated because it has a continuous skill on the rearguard circle, stating that it gains 5,000 power. 5,000 power for every card in damage. So if you have like five cards in damage, plus 25 permanently until a skill makes nullifies its skill. So that's the two Hygienus Angel, uh, four Harsh Trading Thagreya. So this is this is the much more relevant uh, grade uh, grade two uh, grade two Thagreya because those of you that play standard know that when you ride onto this unit, you literally search top five for a grade three Thagreya or a Maple, add it to your hand. So it's really funny when you when you pop, pop this off. And then next is of course Jaff Keel because you would like to add cards to hand and activate damage checks. So. That is the Grade 2 lineup for Thagreya Premium, and of course we have to showcase the lady, the girl, the queen herself, which is on a revenge quest if you've seen the Cross Cray epic, which makes me sad. She is a glitter unit. So of course you want four of the one who walks the path of light Thagreya, and four of one who blooms in the dark Thagreya. What I like to do is, when I go into it, I usually do... This as my first ride, and then this as my second ride, because why not? Um, if I don't have the units, which I usually end up doing, I usually go into Zafkiel. So, uh, say I go second, both you and your opponent is at grade 3, I stride. But when I go into this unit, I have the option of not striding with a Persona ride and just swinging with this unit. Um, I might post a video later on how this deck plays. It is a really fun deck, at least for my build. Um, uh, I know for Shadow Paladin and Royal Paladins, there's Crystal Luster Dragon and Chain Ranker Dragon, which gain the skills of the card, but I'm an Angel Feather player at heart, so I keep it like that. So that is the deck list for the Queen herself, Thagreya, for premium angel feathers. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.